Welcome back, Geminis. You already know this your girl heaven sent. I want to thank all my subscribers. I truly appreciate y'all. Okay, Gemini, this is going to be your love reading for the month of April 2020. Now, if you're interested in your own personal blackout, your own divine masculine, divine feminine update, or your reality check, email me at sentfromheaven225 at gmail.com. All right, let me jump right in, Geminis. Now, the main energies you have, okay, for your love reading for April, right? You have the wheel, the sun, the three of pentacles, the two of swords, the three of swords, and the three of cups, okay? So I feel like when it comes to your relationship in April, things are turning for the better, okay? Now, I feel like you may was in two minds about which way this is going to go. Okay, it's like, damn, I don't know if this is going to go right or if this is going to go left, right? So you was kind of in two minds about a particular person that you're dealing with. But it seems as if things are going more on the positive side. You know what I'm saying? Things are finally looking up. I feel like you feel happy right now dealing with a particular person. Um, it may was some heartache dealing with this it could have been a breakup it could have been some type of separation some type of space that happened but through it all I feel like brighter days is definitely ahead you know what I'm saying I feel like you are both working together um just enjoying your life living your life dealing with celebrations this is teamwork um it's working out it's working out and I feel like you may thought that it wasn't gonna work out like you was in two minds about it like okay you just felt like you know it, it may work out but then it, it, it may not like that type of shit so that's the main energies for Gemini's let's keep this shit moving let's get to the overall energy now the overall energy you have is the four of pentacles so I feel like you may was having a hard time changing or opening up, okay? You could have been holding on to this person just because you just didn't want to let them go. Like, this person could have been irreplaceable, you know what I'm saying? I feel like with the moon here... You may was afraid to open up or afraid to change in a in a sense. It's like when I mean change, change when it comes to loving somebody. When it comes to feeling a certain type of way. When it comes to taking this person out. When it comes to doing things you would not normally do with this person. It's just about caring and showing this person that you appreciate them, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. It was all about you do for me, I do for you. I feel like right now dealing with this um, relationship, things are balanced out right now because it took a long, like a long war, a battle, Y'all two went through some difficult ass shit and it took a fight to get to this point, dealing with this relationship. It took a fight because the situation is the eight of swords. The situation is a person can't stop thinking about how they may behave with the hermit here. So it took... A person to really go deep within and really realize some shit about themselves because what's crossing that is the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Wands. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, where this person loves you, no doubt. But with the Ten of Wands, this person is doing a lot. This person is doing everything. This person is carrying a relationship. While this person is doing that, that's what you can't stop thinking about it's like it's it's something about you you know what i'm saying that maybe 
you need to look at. Something with your behavior. Something that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, something that's fucking you up mentally. It's like, whatever this person is doing, where they should not be doing everything in a relationship, they not they should not be carrying this relationship, period. And you should not be letting them carry this relationship if that shit is making sense. Because what's on this foundation is just the page of swords energy, stalking, asking questions, trying to see if motherfuckers is telling the truth or not. Like that energy is on this foundation. Also on this foundation is the is um the tower. So something happened on this foundation. Something changed at the blue where it brought you two together. It forced you two to come together. If that is making sense. So I don't know what's going on, but somebody definitely needed to change their ways. If this is making sense, because this is coming from the page of cups and the nine of swords. This could be coming from somebody apologizing, somebody just telling you I love you or whatever the case may be. Like, but it came with a lot of fear. Somebody could be fearing that somebody loved them. Somebody may told them they love them and they don't know how to take it. It's fear. So just overthinking. It's just a, a made up illusion in your motherfucking brain afraid to love or afraid to be loved by somebody. You know what I'm saying? What's crowning is the death. Definitely a transformation. Definitely somebody need to change. That's what's crowning is. Some type of ending to the way a person is. The way a person mindset is. How motherfuckers looking at this shit is like the Ten of Swords. Okay, so it's like it, it, whatever happened, it can't get no worse than whatever happened, okay? Like, whatever happened, it can't get no worse. Like, you know how motherfuckers be like, damn, we done been through worse. Like, th that's what, it, worse. It can't get no worse after this. Whatever a motherfucker do, it, it ain't gonna top nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you already been through the worst. Five of Cups. Disappointment around this situation, a lot of disappointment, a lot of crying, a lot of sad shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of being in the past with the five of cups. Telling old ass sad stories. Singing old love songs. Like that's the energy around this. Hope and fear is the page of pentacles. Hoping that this can go to the another level. You know what I'm saying? Hoping this can go to another level. This is leading to the two of wands. Somebody needing to make a decision. Which way are you finna go? Which way are you finna go with the six with the uh, lovers? Which way are you finna go with this relationship? What is we finna do dealing with this relationship? We are done with old ass cycles. We completed them bitches. And it's like, okay, what do we do from here? With the Queen of Swords, what do you wanna do? It's like it's time to speak up, speak your truth. Be clear. Be honest. You in a new phase right now. Them old lessons you should have been learned them bitches. It's like, okay, what do you want to do far as this relationship? Because I feel like whoever you dealing with already know who they want, which is you. But it's like, okay, what the fuck do you want to do? What do you want to do? Because this is leading to the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Ain't this what you want? This contentment and joy? Ain't this what you want? You dealing with somebody who is loving you to death, pretty much. And it's like, okay, is this what you want? Do you want a person to love you? Or do you want a person to just play with your motherfucking head? You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. So, yeah, that's real all I got. Thumbs the fuck up if that shit just made sense. If you like to have I truly appreciate y'all. Send from having 225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know.